I'm Susan. Today I'm excited to be participating in a challenge hosted by Mom Does, Life Handmade. Mom is so sweet and very talented. She just has the most amazing crafts that she makes practically from nothing. I will have her channel listed in the description box as well as the playlist. Today's challenge is to make a boho style useful DIY. So let's get started. I'm using this Waverly chalk paint and truffle. I've got this Velveeta box bottom and a dip jar. And I'm going to paint both of these in the truffle. I'm not worried about giving it a great, great coat. The inside of the box, I would like to have a nice coat, but the outside is basically just for the color because I'm gonna cover it with something else. Once I got my one coat of paint on there, I dried them with a hair dryer. I used these wood beads I got from Amazon and I glued them on the bottom of the jar and on the bottom of the box for feet. Now I used this white yarn that I had really it's an off-white yarn and I thought about just going around the box and jar with it but then I decided that would take forever so I'm going to show you a, uh, just a chain stitch when I crochet you just do a slip knot and I'll show you again so you can get a better look in a chain stitch is you just pull it through that loop see you just hook it pull it through you take your hook up under and pull it through and you just keep doing that until you have a long chain. So I got a pretty good bit of chain and I, I'm going to start gluing that around my jar. And I just use hot glue and I just go around. But with this stitch I can just continue my chain for as long as I need it. So I make a chain long enough to go about three quarters of the way up the jar. And all you have to do to finish it off is just to cut the yarn and bring that loop through and pull it tight. And then I just tucked it up underneath the bottom. Now I'm just going to go the rest of the way up the jar with this jute twine that I have. This is why I wanted to paint my jar so that I didn't have to have complete coverage but when you see through it you're not looking at the glass or a cardboard box. You see something that looks nice underneath. And I just clipped and finished it off. Here's a second look at the slip stitch. So you just make a circle and you pull it through. And you just hook, hook that in there and you should see you've got a knot. Now if you pulled on that string there, you just pull the knot right out. But your crochet hook will stop that. And now you've got your slip knot, and now all you have to do is 
a plunger and through, a plunger and through. So I pretty much did the same thing with the box. I made my chain and just went around the box about three quarters of the way up. If you don't have a crochet hook, you can actually do the same thing with your finger. Just pull it, pull it through, you know, with your finger. We used to make belts back in the 70s, my cousin and I doing this. The chain will be a little bit bigger because the bigger your hook, the bigger your chain will be, the stitch. Once again, I add my jute to the top quarter of the box. And I just go all the way up until I hit the very, very top edge and try to cover the, the raw edge of the cardboard with the twine as well. To decorate my boxes, I got two um, brown buttons, so I got a little bit of black in them, and I got some trinkets, just some little trinkets I had picked up, I think, uh, marked down somewhere. I wish I'd showed them to you, but you'll see them at the end. They're just little sunflowers, little silver sunflowers, and I just glued the button onto the jar and the box, and then I glued the little sunflower trinket on top of that. And here's the finished product. I think it turned out cute. I think it's got that boho vibe and it makes a nice little pencil jar and something to put your post-its or your phone or something in. And I think it's got a stylish look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up. None of this costs you anything and it sure helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Mom, for hosting this. I really appreciate it. So until next time, bye.